Hey there, everybody, my name is Gundam. Welcome back for another video of NHL 22 Franchise Mode. We're going to continue this series. Today, what we're going to do, boys, as last video, basically, we went ahead uh, doing the off-season. Uh, getting uh, a, a complete redone of our coaching staff. Alongside of that, getting pretty much a bunch of veterans. So we already had Ryan Suter and Giordano. We've got Pavelski as the associate coach now. So the NHL is full of... Uh, of veterans and stuff like that. We also have Nielsen and Paul Stashny as our goalie coach. Cooper, we've got made some huge changes in terms of coaching staff. Bit weaker, but still pretty good. Veterans that are going to be good for our team. Already went ahead. We're going to simulate today the entire season, or almost, uh, almost the entire season if I can do it. And uh, already went ahead and did the roster moves. Uh, the teams, uh, my team's going to look like that today, this year, boys. It's going to be a line A with Mekinen and Pasternak once again. That uh, first line, you cannot change it. It's a plus five. Uh, we got Genzel with Farrell and Rentinen. Farrell being our brand new player. Replacement for uh, Kuznetsov. So let's see if that's going to work out. Uh, Keller with Larkin and Marner. And Johnson, middle staff with Heinz. Our brand new player, boys. Heinz uh, being a really good player. Let's hope that it goes, um, it goes well for him. Let's just hope that, that it does. And we'll also have, uh, for the defensive part, Darlene, Chitrin, Power, and Lindholm. And we've got, as well, uh, Lazarev and Parent. Now, Lindholm is not an 85 anymore. As you can see, he's an 84. So he did drop. He's going to start dropping pretty pretty quick. It's quite unfortunate we didn't have uh, Quinn News, boys. If we had Quinn News, uh, just imagine the defensive core we could have had, boys. But we're going to make do with what we got for now. As Parnes and Nazarev are basically forced right now to, to play on that position because there's not they're not they're just simply not as good. Not as good as they could be. Uh, I think you know what? Let's just I am gonna put Parnes. I'm gonna put Parnes as the second pair just because I want him to play well. Uh, especially with Owen Power and stuff. I want them to play well together. It's just uh, I, I don't have any t uh, any space. I don't have any time on ice that I can give them. I want to give them as much time on ice so they can grow. All right. And for the D, uh, for the AHL, which we have a lot of prospects in there, uh, we've got Habert with Mullen and Volkov. Uh, both Mullen uh, being medium elite enforcer. Remember about that guy? That guy is coming up uh, soon, boys. And we've got Habert, of course, uh, power forward. We've got Lefebvre with Vasiliev. So we've got these two players playing with uh, each other. Two low elites playing with each other, boys, as well. Making sure that they all play together. And uh, last but not least, I got nothing else. The others are pretty much uh, nothing. Nothing in defensive par. And goaltender is pretty much that. There's not really a, anything special. We got like three or four prospects in the minors. So uh, we're ready. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to simulate the entire regular season, uh, uh, preseason and see how it's going to go. It's always a good indication of how we, uh, of how we're gonna do in the pre uh, season compared to the preseason. So we're gonna see how fair we did. So we're we're gonna look really quick into the calendar. What we did, it looks like we got three wins, two losses so far, and that's gonna be five wins. So five and two, boys. Pretty good. Pretty good. Well, ex it's what well expected out of the preseason. Now let's see if it's gonna be even better for the main season. Uh, now remember. We didn't lose too much. Our roster is pretty much the same, except for maybe a little bit of an upgrade with Farrell compared to Kuznetsov or whatever. Not really anything interesting. We could have had a big time upgrade when it comes time to the defensive core, but uh, we didn't manage to uh, get it with uh, use, unfortunately. Uh, for gold, it's more mostly as we're going to start simulating right away. It's mostly the uh, coaching staff that is definitely different that uh, we had to change because the coaching staff, the Artani coaching staff did not want to come back, was not interested in coming back. So that's the most uh, different, uh, the, the biggest difference right here. Uh, so as you can see, we ended up losing our very first game in shootout, but afterwards we won, uh, we're winning all of our games. So yeah, it's it seems like it might be another one of those big time seasons, boys. I, we still got pretty much the same team, the, t the, the one team that won the cup. We won the cup with this team, and we've got some small upgrades here and there. So, you know, I'm not I'm not afraid whatsoever. I think we're going to be doing great in the regular season. 
once again, it's all going to come down to are we going to be able to perform in the season, uh, pre the the real season, which is the uh, playoffs. That's the main going to be the main question. So uh, another shootout loss. So not a, re a single regulation loss so far in ten games, which is uh, pretty good. Our best player is Keller in the third line, I believe. So Keller playing the third line is our best player right now. So uh, maybe we can try and um, play a little bit better here. Or it seems like our teammates are uh, need to focus on chemistry a little bit uh, at the beginning. Uh, we are scoring goals, that's for sure, and uh, we are the best defensive team as well. Power play wise. I would say it's uh, it's decent. It's decent for now. I could definitely use a little bit more to uh, fine uh, fine tuning. As as you see, we got a pest power play penalty kill around town. So uh, we're gonna just keep going right now. There's a ten to two win against uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins. Yeah, we're getting some W's, boys. We're getting some really good W's, and we're doing pretty good. Pretty good so far. This is what I expected. An overtime loss. So we haven't lost a single game in uh, regulation so far, boys. Uh, it's uh, pretty clear to me that it might be our best season if we continue like that. Uh, it's only the beginning, though. But uh, so far, we are doing uh, fantastic, boys. Well, I gotta say. As this is going to be our first regulation loss against the Carolina, Carolina Hurricanes. A second regulation loss in a row. That's three losses in a row if you count uh, the overtime one. So, yeah, now we're starting to play bad all of a sudden. I was uh, I, I was uh, putting some good words on my team and all of a sudden they, they didn't like that for some reason. There we go. There, there's two wins. So 6-2-2 two two for the last record. 14-2-4, boys. So still, Marner is our best player, 23 points. Doesn't seem like we're going to have a big-time score this year or a big-time player at all. Uh, we're kind of falling behind. The uh, The Leafs are have 35 points, so they're the best team around right here. We're still in the, obviously in the race for the President's Trophy. It's between us, the Devils, and the Leafs right now. We have to uh, play a little bit better here. Let's definitely uh, make sure that uh, we do that. We're still really good on offense. Uh, defense, we're, we gave up a little bit more goals. We're still the best off uh, defensive team, though. And power play went up. Power play went up. Penalty kill. It's going down a little bit, but it's still everything seems good. All the stats points towards uh, a good time for us. Points towards uh, uh, a good simulation. So I don't have to change any strategies. All my strategies seems to be working just fine, boys. So we're just going to keep it going. Just gonna keep it going and uh, keep scoring goals, I guess, and have fun a lot. There we go. And that's always a huge win against the Toronto Maple Leafs. Obviously, I'm going super fast here because I really want to try as much as possible to simulate the entire season. Uh, Kasha is injured, unfortunately, so our main goalie got injured. He's having a really good time, as you can see. 925 saving percentage. This is a really good pickup that we got, a really good trade we did. Yeah, that was a really good uh, goaltender. But now Subban's going to have to hop in there. Subban had a couple of chances in the, in the initial for a while. It's been... Every year it seems like um, Campbell, or our main starter that is, is getting injured every year. So uh, every year uh, he gets his chance. Subban gets his chance to make his uh, worth in the NHL, I guess. As we're going to lose that game as well against the Minnesota Wild. Let's see how far we can go with uh, Lukanen as our main starter. Let's see, boys. There's a two wins. So Lukanen doing the deed right here, boys. With uh, a loss against the Panthers. So we can't expect Lukanen to get too many wins right here. As we're going to assimilate one last game assimilation. That's a win. That's a W against the Colorado Avalanche. So, hey, we're ter another 10 games played. 7 2 and 1. 33 points for Mekinen. And uh, we have 47 points. So we're in the, still in the race against the Senators this time around and the Jets. So every team, there's a lot of more teams this time around that are competing for that uh, for that President's uh, Trophy, boys. So let's take a look at the stats again. Every time I'm looking at the stats, boys, making sure that uh, everything's going well for us. It's like, uh, yeah, everything's on the right track. Everything's on the right track. Still the best and penalty kill wise, we're trending down. All right, the penalty kill is trending down, so that's uh, that's one thing we gotta keep an eye on, boys. 
we're still uh, having a good simulation though. So I don't want to change anything uh, as long as we have a good simulation. This might have something to do with the fact that Kasha is not in the net anymore and Salukunen instead. So definitely want to keep an eye out for that as we get two regulation losses in a row. Uh, three regulation losses in a row. Okay, this is getting bad. It's getting bad now. It's getting worrisome. Four in a row, boys. Uh, Kasha's finally going to be back about them time because Lukanen was starting to drop the ball big time. As Subin actually played three games in total. He's starting to play uh, as the main starter or something. Don't know why that is. I don't know why the, the game's doing that. All right, so we're going to put Subban back into his natural position, boys. We're going to make sure that uh, that is the case. Subban, go back into your natural position. You're supposed to be the starter for the main, uh, for the AHL. And Kasha is back, boys. So there's a W. Finally, there we go. Can we uh, answer back a couple, couple of W's here? Because four losses in a row right here, regulation losses at that, is not f something I wanted to see. Okay, so yeah, this is going to be a complete downgrade. This is going to be a bad simulation overall. I mean, we're getting some wins here and there. But uh, definitely, this was definitely a bad simulation. I think it didn't help the fact that it was Lukunen and Subin sharing the net. And they did not do a good job whatsoever. As we're half the season done. 44 points for Mekinen. We don't have a lot of poor, uh, big time players. It looks like 44 points is not a, go a lot. For the best player, boys, of our team. Uh, when you count the fact that he's playing uh, with a lot of players. McKinnon's playing on the... Uh, he's playing on the first line, but... I don't know. feel like he could be producing a lot more, boys. For, we're behind the, the Leafs now. Uh, they've got 58 points. The Devils got 56. We gotta catch up. 63 points for the the, the Jets. Yeah, they, we gotta catch up, boys. We got three times in a row... Uh, three years in a row now we got the President's Trophy. We want to have it a fourth, fourth time. We got to catch up and start playing a little bit better. That's for sure. Let's go take a look at our stats. See uh, what we could change. Uh, we still have, yeah, second. Our, our five on five is fantastic. It's fantastic, boys. So we don't have to change that. Power play is great. Penalty kill. It's actually trending up again. So it's going up again. So I don't know what was the, uh, what was the problem. Uh, well, since we have the season done, we're just going to take a look at our team uh, players. So it seems like Line A, uh, 39 points, 40 games played. I mean, they're playing fine. These three players together are playing fine. It seems like maybe it's too much. Too much scoring. Too many scores together. I don't know, boys. Uh, Genzel, though, the second line's doing fine as well. As you can see, Farrell's a really good player for us, 30 points. Uh, we've got Rentonen now. Rentonen. He's not producing. He's doing horrible this year. So he's not having a good time. And Genzel, like, it's, it seems like these guys are not connecting well together. Uh, Keller with uh, Marner and Larkin. How are they doing? Three playmakers together. Seems like they're doing fine, I guess. Might be tempted to just put Marner instead of Renton. So put Marner in there, boys. I think I might be tempted to just do that now uh, from now on. Just because it seems like he might just be better overall. I think he might just be simply better. Even though the puck skills are... Uh, even though the shooting stats are not as good as a Rentonen. I feel like Rentonen is not doing good anyways. He's, uh, so I'm going to downgrade him. And Mitchell Marner was doing better. So, And what about Heinz? Heinz is actually doing pretty decent for his first season. 14 points, boys. Uh, I like to see what uh, he's doing. He's doing pretty good. And for the defensive par, how's Parents doing? Yeah, that second pair is not doing too good, boys. Second pair is not doing too good. See, that's the thing. I want to play him more. But uh, he's not giving me, uh, like, he's not proving to me that he, he should play more. For my liking, he's not good enough. We'll give him a, we'll continue with him for now. But he's just, in my uh, own opinion, not good enough to play there. Uh, on the second pair for some reason. Or he's just not good with power. Maybe it's just the chemistry together, right? They don't uh, they don't play well together. As we're going to get two wins, but then a loss against uh, Vancouver. We're going, we need to try and uh, bounce back up and get as many wins as possible. We are trying to go for the President's Trophy after all. And since the Jets and the Leafs are popping up uh, big time right now, we got to try and uh, outplay them. Uh, outplay, uh, outplay them big time. 
So let's try and get some many wins, as many wins as possible, boys. We're getting a lot of wins right here, as you can see. There we go. I like to see that. That's those are good. Uh, those are good wins right here. That's 50 games played, 60 points now for Mekinen. Seems like they're starting to produce a little bit more. Uh, we're 71 points above everybody else, except for the Jets. The Jets keep winning games. They keep winning, boys. The Jets going to be a tough one to beat. They're going to be a tough one, boys. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if there's a way for us to play even uh, better, like uh, to upgrade anything. We got the best offense and the best defense of the league. We've got uh, the best power play and our penalty kill started to drop again. So our penalty kill might be a problem. I think it's a problem, boys. Want to change it up. De definitely want to change it up. Seems like the strategy is not working out. A passive box not working out. Let's try out Diamond. That might work out for us. And uh, I want to see really quick, after 10 games played, is there any major difference? Seems like there might be. Mitchell Marner is definitely, I think, a better player overall. Uh, he's playing a, a little bit better than uh, Renton and Wood. And Renton, and, I mean, he's just having a bad season overall, so we might as well downgrade him. As you can see, Farrell is... Yeah, everybody's producing a little bit more. It's a tad much more in the for second line. It's the third line. I'm not too sure. I think they produce a little bit more. And uh, for Heinz, I mean, he's still doing great. 10, uh, 10 goals. Definitely a scorer, boys. Good thing your goal scorer. 19 points. He's doing pretty good, boys. Uh, he's uh, having a good season, for sure. And Parents, how are you doing, buddy? See, Parents is not doing good. Four points only. Yeah, he's, he's not doing good, boys. He's, uh, he's unfortunately not as good as a Linholm for sure. So, uh, Linholm, pinging you up right here. You're going to play there. And Pirates is going to, you're going to go back with, uh, with Lazarev. Just going to have to go back with Lazarev. You're just not good enough. Just not good enough, boys. So, let's do that. And we're just going to continue simulate now. Is that going to be a win? Yeah, that's going to be a win. So we got like the all-star bra all break right here. Make sure everybody uh, gets, uh, if they have a little bit of injuries, get uh, healed back as we're answering back now. With some more wins against the uh, the Capitals and the, 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 the Ducks. There we go. We just got to keep winning, boys. Keep winning. Get back in there. Catch up with the, uh, with the Jets. There we go. Got a win against the Panthers. And we got a win against the yeah against Boston. They're garbage team, so that was not a mis uh, not a surprise. There's a shootout win, big time win against the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs, which we are in the the race against. A loss, so we uh, we lost that one against the uh, Rangers. Uh, looks like New York is having the upper hand on us. We lost both again both teams of uh, New York, and the Oilers. We're gonna get a W. Good. I want to keep going, boys. There's a last game right here, simulation, really quick. There we go, up against Vegas Golden Knights, and we won 5-4. So, yeah, we're definitely going to simulate uh, the entire season, this one. Uh, as we can see, another great simulation, 8-2. 87 points, we're on par with the Jets now. So, we are on par with them. They've got, uh, we got two games in hand of them as well. So, that's perfect. Perfect, boys. So we still uh, we're, we're in there. We're really racing it out against them. It's basically between the two of us now. Uh, everybody else is below big time. They don't have a, much of a chance to go back, uh, come back up. So, yeah, I'm happy with what we got, boys. So far, we're doing really good. Uh, if we take a look at our stats, in 20 games played, uh, ever since I made the little minor ch change in the lineups. Uh, definitely a lot better. Yeah, Farrell is actually scoring a lot more goals now. He's actually starting to produce. Maybe a 30 goal scorer now. Uh, K Keller is doing fine. Everybody's doing a little bit better. I think Rentonen's producing a little bit more, as you can see. And uh, obviously, everybody else is uh, doing their thing. And uh, what about Parents? Parents is playing better. Yeah, I think these two, Lazarev and Parents, play very well together. And power, it seems like power and um, and Ninhom might be playing good together. I'm not too sure what was the stats before. Owen Power is not having it that good of a season. That's because he was stuck mostly with Parents for half of it uh, this season. So I'm not going to take too much on him uh, for that. But uh, Darlene and 
in Chitrin are doing all right. They're kind of sharing the points, though. They're sharing the points together. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I like what I'm seeing, boys. I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing right here. And for the goalies, I mean, Kasha's having a really good season. 9.25 saving percentage, boys. Decent season for Lukanen. Uh, as long as he doesn't have to play too much, he's going to be fine. But Kasha's having a really good one. That's a good season. He's a really good goaltender. That's a really good goaltender for us, boys. All right, so I don't have anything to say about that. Uh, I don't think there's any trades we could try and uh, do, any trades we could uh, do. I'm still do, going to do my due diligence because we're at the trade deadline. I'll look around if there's any players that have good value. Seems like uh, we've got some good value out of middle stat especially. He's got some decent value in there. 86. Could possibly trade him away for a 90 overall, boys, or something like that. That's definitely a possibility, so... Uh, we gotta keep that in mind. So maybe middle stat. So center. Left wing position. Johnson doesn't have any value. So not really interesting. Uh, Keller has got some value. Definitely has some value. So that's a good player right there. And for the right wing position. I don't want to trade anybody. Uh, defensive position. Don't have too much right here. Lindholm has got a little bit of value. So if we could possibly trade him away right away. And. Maybe get something in exchange. We'll see if there's anything. And goalie-wise, well, I don't have anything. So uh, we can look for centers. For uh, uh, for centers in the 90s. Left uh, left wingers in the 90s, possibly. And uh, maybe uh, def defensemen uh, in the uh, 85s at least. So I can look for that. I'll try and uh, find something. We do have this Miros Nishchenko uh, guy, really hard name to pronounce, but medium elite. Uh, 33 uh, goals this year alone uh, for him. He's a really good goal scorer, uh, sniper boys. So uh, could be a really good addition. We could snatch him up uh, from the pe uh, the Predators and in exchange. Uh, he's a left winger, so we could uh, literally get a, give them in exchange uh, a Genzel or a Keller. Uh, I would say I would give them a Keller instead. I would be willing to give them that. Unless, I mean, uh, Genzel is starting to drop a little bit. So I could probably try and give them Genzel and keep Keller. But I don't think uh, Keller, the thing is, I don't think he has enough value. I do have some prospects I can give up. Uh, I do have some of them. We've got this uh, low top six I can give up right here. Uh, so definitely that. And also we're going to give up the uh, the draft picks, boys. So uh, a second round pick. Uh, let's see for a second round pick. And Milroy and Genzel is going to be enough for Miroshenko. I don't think it's going to be. Nope. So we're going to give up uh, another second round pick right here, boys. We're giving up on those. Uh, giving up on those. Okay, that's not enough. Okay. I'm willing to give up a third. So... Two seconds, a third, Milroy and uh, Milroy and Genzel for uh, Miroshenko, boys. That's not enough. Okay, three second rounds. I'm not trading away. Uh, I'm not trading away any third rounds, boys. I'm not doing it. That's gonna be rejected. Okay, so that's not enough. So Genzel clearly does not have enough high value. Uh, maybe Keller does. So we'll try with Keller, boys. We'll definitely try our luck. And uh, we'll give them Milwa again. So let's try our luck with that one. And also we're going to give them the second round pick. So let's see. Uh, that might go true, actually. That's not true. D not yet. Okay. Second and... Uh, so two second picks. Two second picks. Milwa and Keller. For uh, Mirochenko. Not quite. Wow. They're asking for a lot, boys. They're asking for a lot. That's for sure. Two second round, uh, Three second rounds. I'm not trading away a first round. That's not going to happen, boys. So, all right. So, we're not getting him. That's not going to happen. And he was pretty much the only option that I really saw that was interesting. Uh, uh, there's, uh, as in terms of a low value and whatnot. Uh, what was his value again? I mean, yeah, he's got the lowest value of all of them. So even the value is a bit high up, too high up uh, for us. I don't think we're going to be able to get him. Uh, Center-wise then, we can try and look for maybe one of those centers. Boys, uh, Marco is too high up. We do have Rossi or even uh, Ishia, boys. But Ishia, we know he's a two-way uh, forward, so nope. 
I mean, we could try for Rossi. He's got a little bit more value, though. So it's going to be even harder to get uh, this Rossi guy. And uh, we try every year. Every single year, we literally try to get him, boys. And we never get him. So we can, we can try. I don't think it's going to work out, though. Uh, Larkin is playing on the third line, though. So maybe we could trade away Larkin. But he's an elite player, though. We've got this Simon Nemec guy, boys. Uh, seems like a really good one. Medium elite. Two-way defenseman, boys. So it could be a really good uh, uh, really good uh, pick for us. He got uh, drafted 7th uh, uh, overall by the Dallas Stars. Got eventually uh, either uh, got passed on or traded away to the Calgary Flames. It's a good uh, chance for him to play with us instead. So let's try and see if Lynn Holm going to be enough for them to convince along with some prospects here and there so along with this guy and possibly Jasper's as well all right I'll give them Jasper and uh, Milroy and uh, Jasper remember Jasper is our 12th overall pick we just picked up uh, just picked him up so he's our uh, first overall pick that we picked up uh, I would be willing to get that in exchange you could give me uh, something in exchange as well so you could give me like uh like a second round pick or something. So a second round pick in exchange. Let's see. That's going to be rejected. So second round pick might be too much. Maybe if you give me a third round pick at least for next round. Uh, right? Next year. Yeah, there we go. So next year's third round pick and Nemec for Lindholm and uh, our two players. Our two prospect players, boys. So we got Lindholm instead. Uh, uh, we got Nemec instead of Lindholm, which is... Uh, He's, it keeps growing, boys. It's going to keep growing. So we got another one of our medium elite players uh, in there as a de defenseman now. So another big time prospect. So that's the that's going to be probably the only trade we're going to be able to do. Because I don't have any other options, really. So there's there it is, boys. Really happy about my acquisition right here. That's going to be a really good, uh, really good trade, in my opinion. Nemec is going to be a good uh, addition to the roster. And that's, yeah, I think that's the only trade we're going to do. I, I don't see uh, any ad other options that I could make. So we're just going to uh, just going to roll with it for now on. As we're going to get past the trade deadline really quick. We're going to continue simming. We got two wins ever since we made those trades. So good. And uh, as we, uh, we're going to look really quick. What type of trades happen? Is there any bigger trades than ours that happen? I do see Taylor Hall got traded away to New Jersey, boys. So he's going back to New Jersey in exchange for a couple of picks. Aside from that, I don't really see anybody. Uh, Joe Valeno going to Tampa Bay. Yeah, I don't see really anything interesting. Now, there might be some big time trades that I'm not aware of. But uh, just because I don't know everybody, there's a lot of at this point of the years. where I, We're in the six or seven years. I believe we're in our seventh year, boys of simulation so at this point uh there's probably a lot of names that we don't even uh, recognize right a young a, a lot of young prospects brand new players that are randomly generated and stuff that we don't even know about so that might be one of the uh, reasons as to why i don't i can't find any big time trades as a uh, heinz got injured so we're gonna have to replace him really quick by with barry boulet boys for the time being uh, until he gets back. So there's a shootout win. We got a lot of wins so far. We haven't lost a single game. There we go. Overtime win. I like to see that, boys. Let's keep the wins rolling. Another win against the Carolina Hurricanes. Another win against the uh, the uh, Toronto Maple Leafs. Good. Really good, Barry Boulet. Uh, you did great for us, but now it's time for Heinz to come back. So he got injured for a while, but he missed out on a couple of games. Uh, Barry Boulet in three games uh, managed to do one point. So he, he did all right for us. There we go. And that's going to be another W for us. So we went undefeated ever since we made those trades, boys. We literally went undefeated 10-0. Uh, that is fantastic, which puts us at a 50, uh, 50 win marker, boys. And that puts us as well, as well as 107 points. Well above our main competition, which is the Jets. So... Great boys, we're in the good. Uh, we're looking good right now. We're really looking good. Uh, I like to see that. I'm just gonna keep simulating because uh, we uh, are in a complete winning streak right here. There's another win right here, and there's finally a loss, a shootout loss at that. Not even a regulation one. 
Uh, I actually want to see how many wins in a row right, uh, was that. So that was 13 wins in a row, boys. A 13, uh, 13 win, uh, win, uh, a 13 game winning streak. That is fantastic. That uh, was great. That was a great run right there that we had. That's uh, the one of the best runs ever, really. Uh, a fantastic uh, a run as we are going to lose against the Panthers. Doesn't matter though, because we're going to win back against the uh, Buff, uh, Boston Bruins. Another loss, a win-lose, win-lose all of a sudden. There's a win against Boston. So we're lucky to uh, at least face off against Boston and some uh, uh, other teams that uh, are in the East. I guess we're having a, a good time against the Eastern teams. And that's going to be it really for 80 games. So the last 10 games, 7-2-1. and one. Definitely not 10-0, and 0, but still really good. Uh, 91 points for McKinnon. So the first line really started to bounce back up and actually produce properly. As uh, we're going to see, we got 122 points. I think we did it. Yeah, we got the Z boys, which means uh, we basically did it once again for fourth time in a row, fourth year in a row. We managed to get the president's trophy. We basically clinched it. Uh, we just need two more wins and we get um, the 60 win mark. So just win the two last games, boys, and we get the two, uh, the 60 wins. So let's do it. Uh, let's win those. Let's go. And there we go. We did it. So we managed to go all the way to 60 wins, boys, in the season as well. What a season. That was a really good one. Really good season. And we by far were the best team. So ever since we made those trades to upgrade in defensive bar, we uh, went even better. We literally did even better, boys. So, yeah, we did fantastic as every single team played their team. We're going to look around who was the worst team and everything. But first off, we had the best offensive team and the best defensive team, the best five on five team on the entire uh, division, the best power play and our penalty kill was the second best as well. If we take a look at the entire league now, let's take a look really quick uh, point wise. There we go. So we're the best team for four, four time, fourth time in a row. The worst team is going to be the Boston Bruins. So Boston Bruins are going to be the worst team, boys, of the entire league. Unfortunate for them. Even though I got themselves, I believe, the uh, second overall pick last year, it still wasn't enough for them uh, to make it a little bit further. So let's see really quick our best score this year. Definitely no 50 goal score. It's pretty much even doubt everybody was scoring uh, even doubt uh, goals. They were sharing the goals. So. 37 goals for Liney, not a big time scores or anything. But we do have Mekinen, which uh, ended up as our best player. 95 points this year. Now, it's definitely not... Well, it's it's on par with the last year. It's not like 113 points or whatever, but it's still really decent, really good. Uh, we've got Liney with 93 points, which is not like this last year, which is 102 points, but it's still pretty decent. Uh, Pasternak, 83 points. Seems like he's always right there, like 83 points and stuff. So always clinching it at the last second and stuff. So he's doing great. He's doing good. And uh, we also have Farrell. Now, Farrell, a brand new player. Uh, we acquired him. So that, this year, 35 points, 35 assists. Definitely playing like a two-way. Uh, 70 points on the second line. That's really good, boys, uh, for an 87 overall. His best season of his career that he had, and he had it with us. So uh, I'm really happy about that. That's a really good addition for us. Uh, Marner played uh, pretty decent, I think. But he could have, yeah. I think he played actually worse. He's downgrading. Look at that. He's playing less and less points every time. 81, 70, and now. And last one, uh, last year was 70 points in 72 games played. So he was really doing good. This year, though, kind of disappointing. Disappointing year. Uh, Keller. Uh, did all right, 52 points, I think. It could have done a lot better, though. Definitely could have done a lot better. Same thing for Gensel. Uh, Darlene, fifth, 49 points. So he, he shared a lot of those points this year around with Chitrin, which means that they, they kind of split up the points a little bit. So uh, a lot weaker of a uh, season compared to the previous ones. But uh, it's still a pretty decent one. And uh, Chitrin, he did all right. He had, ended up having a better season last year. And uh, Larkin and all that, I guess. 
Uh, we we still do have Nemec now, so I want to see Nemec. Uh, what did they do for us during those like 20 games plus? Nine points. Okay, I think he played a little bit better. Definitely played a, a little bit better than uh, than your average uh, average Joe, I guess. And uh, we uh, do have Rentinen right here, uh, which had a horrible season. 35 points in 82 games played. Uh, he played in the second line a little bit at the beginning and ended up was not really good, boys. Uh, then played in the third line and uh, played a little bit better. But yeah, the damage was done already. So that was that is by far his worst season of his career, boys. Uh, it's kind of a... Kind of a bus boys he's just there to fill up as a an overall really he's not really doing anything else owen power with 30 points he managed to come back bounce back up a little bit so it took a respectable realm of uh, defensive core especially for the second pair that's pretty that's good heinz for his uh debut boys debut season 17 goals 28 points very good on the fourth line that is he played 28 points, boys. That's really good. And uh, we've got Lazarev with 12 points. Uh, good. That's good. Got at least have to, uh, 10 points at the third pair, boys. And Pirates, unfortunately, had a really bad season. Five points. Uh, Pirates is kind of a bust. He is, boys. I feel like Pirates is a bust. And that's uh, very unfortunate. Uh, Defensive-wise, okay. And goalie-wise... Let's see, 45 wins for Kasha. Really good, uh, really good season. A fantastic season for Lukanen as well. Look at that, that saving percentage going all the way up. Good. The best uh, scorer of the league was Yurov with 55 goals. So only one uh, 50 goal score this year. So the, the season was pretty much uh, really quiet in terms of goal scorer this year. Ever since uh, Vetchkin's not there anymore, there's not a lot of options. Um, and after that, it's Seguin at 36 years of age. She still has it, I guess. 49 goals. Okay, and uh, next up, the best player. Nylander. William Nylander, 99 points. Not even a 100 player, uh, plus player uh, for the points. So, I'm uh, telling you, this was a, a quiet year, I guess, for point production. Zegris, Connor, Ehlers, Mekinen in there. Uh, Matthews, Line in there as well. Shifley and Pedersen. So, we got two of our players in the top uh, top 12. If we take a look at uh, defensive-wise, best defenseman this year, 79 points, Zellweger. Top four defenseman, boys, for the Ducks, 84 overall. That's an interesting uh, player to, to have the best points. Quinn Hughes, second best, 68 points. We almost had him, boys, but we missed out on him. 68 points. Not as good as a 94 season, a 94-point uh, season, but uh, it's a decent. Uh, Theodore, uh, Drysdale, uh, Hedman, uh, Hamilton, Perinovic, uh, Girard, and Ty Smith. They are best uh, defensemen, boys. Uh, so we don't have a single defenseman that is our the best uh, of the league. And for the goalies, uh, I think the best one, the one that was going to get the President's Trophy should be Kasha. 455 wins, the most amount of wins. A uh, saving percentage is high enough that he can compete with the other ones. Arrows might be the biggest competition. 43 wins, 920 saving, per saving percentage, a little bit higher. But I still think Kasha should have it in hand. And we got Vladar as well in there. And for the rest, uh, that's pretty much it. As you can see, all the, the, the goalies. Rookie skater. Best skater was, uh, best rookie was Vitala, uh, Vitua Luema, whatever you want to call him. So, uh, really good boys. So, uh, we uh, have Vikingstad as well, having a good season. All these players, I see we've got a lot of uh, names that I don't really recognize at this point. So uh, that's uh, the stats. Uh, so we're going to simulate uh, just to see for the playoffs we're going to be facing in the first round really quick. It's going to be up against the Washington Capitals, boys. So... We are the defending Stanley Cup champions. Uh, it's our fourth year in a row where we are have the President's Trophy, boys. So uh, let's see if we can get a second cup in a row as well. Uh, rem uh, but for now, we're going to uh, stop it right here. Remember to leave a like. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video. See you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.